Robin Bedford, better known as Rocket, how are you? Morning, you all right? All good, thank you very much. We thought we'd join you here on Monday morning and, and see how you go about your work before the lads arrive. So just talk us through what you're doing here now. So now I'm, just, I'm basically just setting up for get their kit ready for training. Um, so they'll arrive shortly and then sort of, so hopefully everything will be ready for them just to get changed. Then they'll go in the gym or go and get breakfast, um, do their sort of pre-training routines. Um, so hopefully it's all, all run smoothly. Yeah, it's relatively tidy now, but did the lads keep it tidy in general, would you say? Pretty much, yeah, they're, they're quite good at, I mean, they've got their own fine system. So, you know, if your boots are in the wrong place or dirty, they, you get fined for that. So, and then like, people like Omar's really good at keeping the place tidy or bring the hoover out when he thinks it uh, needs, <laughs> needs it. <laughs> yeah, and, the, and then fans will notice that the, the numbers aren't necessarily in order. Why, why is that? What's the reason for that? Uh, it's just to mix up who people sit next to. So the young boys are mixed in a bit more with the, the older pros. Um, yeah, and it's, it's like the new boys when they arrive, then they get to pick an empty spot. So Riley's picked here, for example. Um, that was an empty spot, obviously. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it's sort of start of season, you get your spot. Or the ones who were here last season obviously kept their spots from last season. Mm. Um, I'm sure that some of them have their own particular likes and dislikes when it comes to kit. Who, who would you say causes you the most headaches? Uh, this, they're all quite good to be once you get to know what they want. Um, like people like Omar, so Omar's got some slightly different, sh he's got some three quarter length shorts for example. Um, all, it's getting a bit colder now so, so some are now in trousers. Mm. Uh, Pigs usually wraps up so he's got, he'll have an under armour. He's, he also wears his wet jacket every, basically every training session as well. Mm. And you've got the long sleeve shirts this season as well, has, has there been much? Uptake in terms of yeah, the lads wearing those. Uh, again, Pig, Pigs is another big one on his long sleeve shirt, so I think he pretty much wears long sleeve all the time. But yeah, now it's getting to get getting get a bit colder. There's a few more like Oggs is another one who's wearing it a bit more often. So yeah, the long sleeves are coming out now. Mm. Yeah, no, and, and you've been what what season is this for you now? You've been doing it. I what? think this is my 18th or 19th season. 18th or 19th. And and would you say your role's changed quite a lot since the beginning? Yeah, I, well, obviously when I started, I was part. Well, the team was part time, and obviously that was Ryan Prem when I started. Um, so yeah, so so we were doing training was on a Thursday night. Cold with um, with um, dodgy floodlights and stuff like things like that. Now it's obviously yeah full time. For the last five years, I've been full time. Um, so yeah, now now I'm washing their kit on a. Or we wash their, we wash their kit now. Mm. A few years ago, the boys were taking their home their training kit home to wash it themselves. Mm. So little, little things like that have been changed and improved, I think. Mm. And so many, so many good moments. Um, what ones sort of stand out for you? Uh, well, obviously Wembley. I don't think you could beat winning at Wembley. Um, Manchester the promotion, winning, winning the Conference South was another big one. Uh, and then some, some, a couple of recent games. So particularly uh, beating a team up the road, <laughs> away from home as well. So yeah, yeah, they're right. big moments. Definitely. And then. Um, if you if you were to say to someone describe your job, what what would you say is the the easiest thing about it, and what would you say is the hardest? Uh, the easiest thing is I don't know what the easiest thing is. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much little things to do that probably people don't realise. Um, the bit I enjoy is printing the shirts and, and doing the match day, but just being around the team on a thing, and I'm getting I'm a bit more involved in sort of sort, um, not designing the kit because James does that, but involved mm. in the sort of ordering and what what kit we go with each year now as well so that that's quite as a fan that's a nice little thing to be involved with mm. and what was your first ever Wimbledon kit can you remember uh, it's actually the Hummel one which the club have just released so that was my when I was a kid that was my first shirt nice back in that old player lane yeah and you have a favorite one that we've worn since you've been since working then, last year's Boca Star was uh, I really like that and but this one's really grown with the current kit mm. um, that's probably one of my favorites Fairly simple, kind of um, traditional Wimbledon kit, really. Mm. Listen, you're Mr. Reliable. A lot of things, I'm sure, go right. But have you ever had something where something's gone wrong and you've had to quickly uh, do something to address it? Have you ever uh, had like, something well, where try, something's forgotten? <laughs> not to admit those kind of things. Uh, I mean, we went to Oxford once and we forgot the, the balls. Mm. Uh, luckily, we managed to get someone else to bring them up just, just for them going out and for their warm-up. That happened once. Uh, well, I think like I forgot the blood kit once, one season, and that was the only time that we needed a blood kit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so some, 
so what we had, fortunately we had a Reese Jones, I think it was. He, he wasn't in the squad that day, so if, mm. so if anyone actually knows, um, I think Jamie Stewart ended up wearing his shirt for oh, really? for the set for at the Forest Green, yeah. Mm. And how's it how's it changed over time of as we've become professional? Do you, do you tend to get more allocations of kit from you know the sponsors and the providers? Um, yeah, it's all sort of budget based, but yeah, I think it's all the, the trend nowadays is to get more. More kits because back in the day you used to get shorts and t-shirt and jumper and that was it. Now obviously we get a bit more flexibility and obviously the training more often as well. So that's yeah, and even the, the style and kind of garments people can have nowadays is it's all changed. Mm. And then just tell us about this room. So it's changed quite a bit um, in the last few seasons, but also going even further back. Yeah, so I mean I think about 15, 20 years ago this was a squash court mm. um, for the university. Then it got split up into change rooms. So this this half here used to be Dougie's physio room. Then it became mm. the under twenty ones change room. And then a couple of years ago, we knocked down the wall and brought it all together. So all the so all the fir all the first team squad basically get changed together. Mm. Um, the dartboard's a new addition this season. And um, what's that used for? <laughs> so that's they all they just play. It's just uh, play games or um, just a bit of tight. Um, Bit of time together basically after training they'll be playing darts or even in the morning when they first come in they'll, they'll bring them out and then just lastly just tell us about the obviously predominantly it's yourself but you now have you have a support team who who help you on match days and also around the training ground just tell us about them so i've had trevor williams has been with me basically since i started um so he does basically match days uh so we travel up together to away games do all the lifting and moving and games and then i've now in the last Basically, literally a year, Lindsay has joined us, so she helps on a, a training basically and helps some of the match day prep. Right. Um, so, yeah, so she's been a big help uh, at training anyway, yeah. Excellent. And then, besides Plough Lane, what's the best sort of dressing room you've been in, been able to work in? Uh, again, Wembley, it's obviously great to go there. Um, Newcastle recently was, that was quite a, wasn't a massive or particularly luxurious training room, but it's quite a nice. Mm. See how uh, the Premier League boys get treated.